and me. We're live, boys and girls. Hey, folks. Welcome to Murder Hobo. <laughs> Tonight is Between the Rolls, our Iron DM episode, part two. Yes, this is an ongoing campaign that we have. We're going to be world building. So uh, last week we had uh, Ian, Spencer, and Jeff on, and, as well as Frank, and they, they hashed it out uh, as we're uh, – using our hex maps and all that to uh, plot out this world that we're going to have. Everything is, uh, the all the Iron DM episodes throughout the year, uh, everything that we discuss, design, put together, is all going to be bundled up into one package for you and pub and um, as a publication uh, for at the end of the year. So it's exciting stuff. So... Yeah, this is a great time to tune in, especially if you're just uh, coming in to follow Murder Hobo. Uh, yeah, so uh, in case uh, you haven't seen us before, we're Murder Hobo Inc. We're a bunch of uh, just, um, you know, D&D nerd enthusiasts that, that love to get crazy and play D&D. So uh anyway uh i'll begin with uh you can follow us on twitch you can follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube page uh if you want there's a link uh well not a link but you'll see the url for tiny url rpg swag that's uh where you can buy our merchandise you can buy phone case t-shirts koozies uh Duvet Underwear, covers, <laughs> duvet covers, covers, covers skateboards panties. yeah <laughs> we got it all we got it all so, and uh, yes, and if you happen to miss our shows or anything like that, you can always catch them on Twitter. You can catch them on YouTube. They get posted uh, fairly quickly after we finish the show. And um, if you don't want to take a look at our money makers, you can follow us on Podbeam. You can catch uh, all our episodes just about on Podbeam. So anyway, yeah. So let's get in with the introductions. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> and uh, Hi. I am stumbling through this tonight, so just bear with me. Uh, about yeah, to get fucking fired. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> so yes, I am a cast member on Murder Hobo. I play in the Calamity campaigns, uh, both A side and B side, and I am also on our Cacophony show, soap opera slash campaign, as Carol likes to call it, and uh, okay. yes. I play Zadar on that. I play Ingve in the A side on Calamity and Crow on the B side <coughs> of Calamity. And every once in a while, you can catch me on a one shot. So next, I'm going to zing it on over to Carol. Carol, who are you? Tell us what you do. And yeah, introduce yourself. Who am I? Well, you just said I'm Carol. I always like yeah. to say that. So hi, my name is Carol. I'm a, how do I do this? A long time, long time, long -time player. Gamer. Like time game, occasional GM and commission mini painter with my there own Twitch go. stream, known as Muses underscore Touch. I'll be painting tomorrow night at eight thirty Eastern time. Uh, on this channel, I play in the Cred or Cthulhu Rises Everyone Dies campaign on Thursday night. It will be in action this Thursday, uh, and we'll see how much more my dice can bite me in the ass uh i don't know what else i occasionally do one shots occasionally mod here so i think that's about it hey and next we have ian ian he is our man with the plan because <laughs> we have murder hobo con coming up next month and this is the oh, guy God. with it with the no for that ian tell us about yourself man ah well thank you for that lead in there um i am i guess I don't know if you call me a cast member or something like that, or at least you haven't You're put me in a cast member. yet. Okay. So I'm doing something right with that. But yes, a Murder Hobo Con, February 12th and 13th. It is a two-day online COVID-free uh, online RPG con that benefits charity. So we have lots of different events, including the Fabulous Carol has a painting course there that you can learn uh, how do, to do. actually. Yeah, that's right. There are plenty of um, open seats for that because we are just opened up registration. Plenty more events still coming through. I will be running six events myself. So, lots of holy things. crap! Now, nah, I said mine's a seminar. So there's, there's, yeah, there's tons of open seats because I don't believe there's any limit on seats. I, was, I, I I'll that's be running on my Twitch. It'll be simulcast on my Twitch stream. Absolutely. 
And then last but not least, there's uh, some old geezer who seems to sleep in the corner. <laughs> well, yeah. The warden for all this prison of madness here. <laughs> that is Frank. Frank, tell us Frank. a little bit about yourself, man. And our fabulous sponsors. Folks yeah, and our sponsors. That's yeah. true. Folks, if you uh, don't know me, thank you for being on, uh, tuning in for us tonight. This must be your first time. I'm Frank. Uh, mostly DM creator blah 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 uh general jackass don't forget our sponsors if you need some <laughs> dice uh and who doesn't need dice go on over to twitter and hit at pirate dog dice uh see tell them what you'd like see if they have time to do it and of course if your game stinks unlike ours ours smells like success and gold pieces every once in a while uh Wander huh. over to oddfishgames.com because they've got over 60 adventure scents to enlighten your soul and even find something that you can shove into your boss's car vents to really piss him off. Uh, they do not recommend that you eat them. Just saying that out loud. They also make something called the Shine System, so if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, uh, check that out. Uh, I am here with these wonderful people again uh, because we had some... Uh, problems with some participation that'll get rectified soon but i think you guys are in for a big treat and just to reiterate what ian has already said uh murder hobo con february 12th and 13th you know if you're still looking for a valentine's day gift <laughs> why not get that special person in your life a badge i'm just saying yeah. uh back to you sure. david yeah um question about the badges mm -hmm. We we tweeted something out. If you buy a badge, games are free. Is that still? That is correct. All you got to do is buy a badge to get in and then oh. sign up for the games. So that is a and fucking deal, people. If you do volunteer for us by running games, helping out with moderating the con event as or other functions, we will discount your badge. So you can get all up to a whopping 75% off. So remember, all the proceeds after meeting our con operations funds go straight to charity. So... A one. Oh, and oh, yeah. you don't have to wear pants. You just have to keep your camera right here, because and not stand up a lot. So you know. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm wearing pants. I, I don't. I I'm pretty sure. No, not. Yeah. No, no, I'm wearing. I actually am wearing pants. Today. <laughs> I haven't changed. No, most times I'm wearing pants because I don't really feel like changing after I get home from work. Well, there you go. Gotcha. There might be sweatpants occasionally, but usually. Hey, I remember when I, I used crash. to get off of work, I'd be like the uh, father off the Goldbergs. The pants come off at the door. I don't know if I can get it like, oh, pants. <laughs> well. There goes okay. the illusion. Yep. Well, folks, we had a couple of shows last week. We On Did Thursday we? night, we had Cacophony, which is it was a pretty zany episode. So you can check that out. Uh, it's still on Twitch. It's going to be followed up on YouTube. Uh, we also had a one-shot Saturday that featured Ian and his friend, was it John? Spencer? What? No. No. Oh. Uh, Saturday. Oh, yeah, Spencer. that was John, right? Yeah, John. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Your roles yeah. sucked. Uh, I watched that episode. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. on brand. That's so on brand. For it is on brand. I mean, right come on. Tomb. <laughs> I was in I the mean, right tomb. I was confident. I was right certain tomb. you were at the right tomb. I'm very certain. And of course, Sunday we had the Margu campaign. Those guys are back, and it was their first episode in a while. Just they were crazy. Bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and uh, check it out on Twitter, YouTube. And if you want to listen to it, uh, it'll be on Podbean. So, uh, so yeah, so let's kick this shindig off. We have some areas that we have to uh, discuss tonight. Uh, there was a list that was sent out uh, to our panelists tonight, and then we're, we're looking at these regions right now. Uh, basically, what we're looking at uh, tonight, as far as I'm concerned, we're, we're taking some um, uh, water features, and uh, we're going to be discussing that. So, um, let's see. I believe, what, Ian, uh, what areas? You have a bay to discuss? Uh, I have, we have, I have nine and six. Got it. Carol has an ocean and a mountain range. To I got so. ocean, mountain range, and a dead volcano. <laughs> Actually, nice, nice. That's awesome. I think. Oh. Okay. Uh, Carol, why don't you tell um, 
start off and tell us uh, a little bit about uh, your first feature tonight. Dead, Vol- Dead Volcano interests me. So, Oh, can... you want me to start with that and not the ocean, huh? Yeah, I, I start off wherever you That's like. Fine. If you no, like no. to cover the ocean first, I don't want to throw yeah, you off. Yeah, <laughs> you're not, you're not. I, I, I had to rewrite my notes because for some reason they didn't go to the cloud. So. <laughs> So I go to my phone and they weren't there. So fortunately, I probably did them better. So, okay, so down at number nine uh, was, oh, it's 18. It's 18, it's the one right on the bay, which is oh, oh, right there, yeah, right there. There's a dead volcano. I don't know how much detail you want on this. Um, I, I can't I'm basically producing never... and playing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I called it. Yeah. So that dead volcano or what people well people suspect it may not be dead it's named dormian's ignis uh, mountain and basically the, the locals actually don't really think it's it's dead even though it hasn't gone off uh at least as long as the longest living else memory has been you know uh, at least as long as that that's a long time you know elves live forever um but they do feel earthquakes periodically what's the it, name it, of it again there dormy if you want i can spell it later but d-o-r-m-i-e-n-s ignis two words i actually went basically to i was thinking sleeping volcano sleeping fire and uh good call so i went in so then i went into the latin or english latin translator and put in sleeping fire and that's what came up so I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's I go, that's really cool. It didn't work. The Latin thing didn't work for everything I was trying to name, but it worked pretty good for that one. So uh, I don't know. What else do you want? <laughs> or is okay. just the name good? I don't know what that is. Anybody just there? Uh, No, I would say not real looking at that. I think that's someone else's region, so I don't want to really define it. But, I mean, if I was making it, I would say no, no. It's a really pretty desolate area. You get the mountains... <laughs> There are mountains that are surrounding it, um, and just the ocean. So, well, if you, you know, have an idea, almost... I, I think I know who has O and P. Is that you? That's yeah. me. I, would that's say, I would say no. Nobody's living like in those spots. I mean, they would be living in the you know to meet the green areas more than that, because I feel like that's a fairly desolate mountain range. I will say this though, I would think that number eighteen would be a landmark that sailors could use you know to help locate where they are um it, it's i would say a dormant volcano is going to stand out so i thought about do naming it something along that like you know guardian the you know i couldn't think of a good short name so i went with with the sleeping one but yeah keep that in mind frank there are there are earthquakes there so it may not sleep forever i like that you could have gone with mount blast that's a short Mount Blast. I, yeah, Mount Blast. I did. I, well, I've got. Oh, I, and you know what? I, yeah, that should, that would have been going for one of the live volcanoes I, I, in my other area. Or but the yeah. Sentinel, if you wanted something that's like a. a the Sentinel. I think I thought ah. about the Sea Sentinel or something like that. But now nah, I'm gonna go with this because I like the the fact that that it's it may just be sleeping and not truly dead. Yeah, I like that name. My my question would be if if you're mm-hmm. thinking about this, did it. Is it naturally dormant or did something uh, artificially cause it to be inert? Well, no one actually knows. That's good. Uh, yeah, Which is no great for adventurers knows. to find out. I bet basically, I know. Basically, <laughs> basically, you know, if I'm building, if I was building a world for somebody, you know, that I was going to market to people, I would love to leave things that are up to the GMs like that, you know, put this, put this feature there. And then, you know, but let them take it and run with it, you know. So putting it there, just throwing the, I mean, the earthquakes could be nothing. It said it hasn't blown blown in like a thousand years, at least. Nobody alive knows. So you can do whatever the heck you want with it. Awesome. But that's an interesting thought. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll have some ideas to throw at you for that, too, <laughs> before you're finished. <coughs> uh, Ian, why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, let's see, what is it, feature number six? You have a bay? Yes. Uh, so when I, we discussed last time, we thought about 
what makes this interest this area kind of interesting also kind of like five is that it looks like uh it's the like a shelf like a sink like it, it sank so uh depending on what we want to do with area five <laughs> one of the areas we thought about would be something like folly's shelf uh, we had contemplated perhaps why this this whole area was once where a civilization lived and they dabbled in something they shouldn't have, and it caused shifting the protonic and tectonic plates or something, so it just fell. So six being like a quasi, a quasi, still a pretty shallow area, but not too shallow like those lighter coastal areas, that there is just a whole shelf of just ruins. So people that have the capacity for underwater adventuring, some type of like omelets, water breathing, whatnot, could go through this whole area where there's just stone buildings or whatever is, is left there. Um, so kind of like a, an, yeah, an edifice to a, a uh, civilization who had some great mistake, which also lends itself great to the concept about the whole shelf there because it's self-contained. What if there's underwater zombies that are just kind of slogging along on the coast? Oh boy. You know, oh, slowly okay. meat my- falling from a skeleton full of like little like crabs, you know, in and out of their, or whatever type of detritus feeders. So it, it does lend itself neat. And that's one capacity, one thing, but we also thought about five, if this was some type of, um, if those mountains, maybe those uh, volcanoes in 13 perhaps came up and shifted things. But I still like the concept of having like an underwater, just like tons of ruins. Uh, so as you sail, it, you can just look down and see on a good day or catch so, nets and that stuff. So what you're saying is my country, because my country is D right there. Uh, basically borders Atlantis. I see. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say like Atlantis is kind of like, you know, glorified. What if you had this like, I mean, a, a nation that wasn't like super advanced, but messed with things beyond its own ken or, I don't know, had a, a dark deal with the DD gone sour or thought, hey, you know, maybe if we want to pump magma to heat our city, with this volcano in 20, surely nothing is going to go wrong. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so there's there's options there if you know, you want to develop that or who would take ownership of six. Right. Boy, there's like four countries that could take, or three, yeah. that could take ownership yeah. of six. Yeah, F, the other, F and uh, J are the same now. What is it? F and J yeah. are the same now. F and J are the same. Who well, Was there an armistice? Uh, no, these two, uh, this used to be one, uh, it's called Equus and it used to have this whole area. Humanoids have come down and there is a war and the line of demarcation is right about here with one free city walled under siege right there. You also could have, the the other option I think we talked about last week is if you had a war between D and FJ and a good way to stop passage would be sink the land in between. That's another kind of fun. You know, you play with a super mega weapon of some kind. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Now, uh, Carol, you have feature number two, right? Is that correct? Yeah, I have yeah. feature number two and I get feature number 13. Okay. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us about two. So I was thinking, I was originally going to go, to go with some sort of a cold reference, but I realized that a cold reference has already been done for number one. I'm like, I don't want to do that. So I, but I still have kind of a cold reference. I called it the Diamond Ocean for two reasons. One, that there are crystalline icebergs that float about in its northern climes, and that's a lot of it. There's a lot of territory there. But the second reason is, of course, you know, merchants traverse the sea, bringing the wares. So there's a lot of wealth that may be being paid for by diamonds. There's a lot of wealth that comes across the, uh, the ocean. So that was, that was my thought on why I called it the Diamond Sea. I don't, um, and I do, I think there's, you know, oh, I actually zoom down a bit. But I, cause I think you do, there, there definitely has to be some traversing. No, 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 other way. I meant go down. Oh yeah, so yeah, there, <coughs> so there is islands and such. And I assume, is there more landscape mass in this world or are we looking at the world? 
we are looking at uh, a single or a continent. continent. Yeah, so well. there's more. So, so basically, I would assume that that ships would be going off to sell the where to trade with another, you know, continent, you know, on the other side of the ocean. What? It's not flat Earth. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you go into the gray area, you just fall off. Yeah, I was going to exactly. make that. Yeah. I'll ask. Uh, pirates. Sure. A- anything that has wealth has oh, got to be pirates. Of course there's pirates. I, haven't, I didn't flesh it out that much, but uh, yeah. I mean, look who's look who you're talking to. I play a pirate with Captain Rosa. Now, um, are you going to have islands in there? Because, I, I mean, folks, uh, we've decided that these are about 25-mile hexes. Uh, so that would not preclude the ability to have a two mile spit of land that does not oh, appear on the master map. See, that's the thing is I was going by the maps and it said, once again, and yet, I don't see why not. We could have like, a, we could have actually around this, what is that, K? Around K, there could be a, uh, several small islands around it and making it like kind of like, a, you know, great place for pirates to hang out. Could be like Tortuga. Tortuga, yeah. Or the Cari- yeah, the Caribbean. Okay. All right. I know. See, I knew that's right. I knew there was also another big landmass down there. So I figured there's gotta be trading going on. And yes, of course, where there's where there's booty, there's pirates. Those are Come Vietnamese on. portals. <laughs> maybe right. I'll turn maybe I'll turn my maybe I'll turn my country into a pirate. Pirate, pirate nation. nation, half pirates, half dwarves. Because <laughs> wow. you get the mountains. Actually, that doesn't sound half bad because it would be <laughs> kind of fun. Then you can go ahead and establish a trade. I, I will. I will have to say, if you're going to have dwarven pirates, that's what I was hearing, right? <gasps> oh, small uh, ships. No submarines. Now, if we had them in, the oh sub- my god, if we had them in the submarines. American Civil War. I mean, there's no reason why. <laughs> Dwarves couldn't easily make a submarine. Oh Artifice. my god! Oh my underwater, Lord. underwater Wolf. submarine Wolf. base. Uh, underwater submarine base. Yeah, I mean, how, <laughs> how absolutely frightening would that be? You know, they telescope up a flag, and you're like, you see that coming out of the water, and you're like, well, I'm toast. So, <laughs> are they Nazis? Nazi dwarf pirates? Oh. <laughs> can I we, can we get some other sub archetype in there? <laughs> well, would it all be? It wouldn't all be. Dwar- if you, if the p- dwarves are not necessarily the pirates here. I was going to have, you know, pirates could be are going to be every race and and okay. such. But the dwarves are, you're right, they could be, the, the dwarves could be working with the pirates, making them gear and such. Nice. Oh, man, I would totally be watching Das Boot to get I some ideas. Get <laughs> off. I'd be oh, watching man. Family Guy. Yeah. <laughs> the Germany episode. <laughs> Mikhail's Navy. I'm, yeah. I'm noting this, by the way, because I said I, I have them. I, I started on my notes in my phone. Uh, this is the best reason for thing. collaboration, folks. That's what socium means. It means partner uh, yep. in Latin, because Carol's not the only one who hijacks the Latin language. So this is a oh, partnership, yeah. and uh, this, this is great. We just brainstorm and punch ideas off each other. Go Latin ahead. is phenomenal. Well, just to cut, Latin is phenomenal. It's such a great language to steal from, to name your things, it, it, to name anything. Some things don't necessarily work, but but it is. I've I've stolen from it before. It just it sounds so elegant, you know. So yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead, dude. No, that's okay. I was going to talk about the feature that I have. It's just like staring me on my map in in the face. It is uh, feature number twelve. Tell us about it, David. Yeah. Uh, it Which, is. Where is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Frank can get to it. It's by P and O, Frank. Gotcha. Okay. Where the hell is? What is it? Uh, it is. Uh, a oh, great, there we go. It's a, yeah. It's it a. It's a Great Lake. That's what I was thinking about having. It looks like it go connects. Oh, it's a lake that connects to a river that goes mm-hmm. to the ocean. Well, yeah, this, this exactly. is actually called Wyvern Pass. Yeah. So yeah. it's like my little lake outside my house. Right. It connects right to the river and goes deep. out to the ocean. Yeah. It does look really deep. That's why I was thinking it's like a great lake. So one of the things that I was thinking was actually uh, having it uh, 
uh, either name this or some kind of variation in another uh, language uh, is uh, since you have so many countries that are connected by this lake, I mean, literally you have U, V, O, P, and T that are directly connected to the lake along with R coming in, uh, Lake Union. That's uh, good. I like. I like that. That's really yeah. good. You have a tributary that comes in uh, and all that. So, I mean, it makes it ideal uh, for, for like trade routes within the lake and stuff like that. It's Out of curiosity, looking at the hexes by 18, it's also a deep water zone. Is there mm -hmm. perhaps some type of deep water channel that runs underneath the continent? Uh, I would say that's possible, given how people have described other water features uh you know with the oceans and things like that so yeah it's definitely plossible that it's some sh sort of channel put you a know, submarine up it a sl I'm submarine gonna... outlet there you oh go oh my god he's like obsessed with submarines so it's argentina <laughs> this is yeah. where the actually Nazi dwarven pirates go it's argentina <laughs> <laughs> no I, I was gonna say the, actually a lot of what you described makes me think i can't remember the name of the damn lake but it's the one in uh 10 towns in the Forgotten Realms. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a big lake there where they've got I, I, uh, <laughs> the I knucklehead trap that's like this. It's like you mean this? <laughs> I was yeah. thinking that. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Ah. Nice. And all, all of my bookshelf is right here, so I can always just like pull out like the <laughs> I'm, and I'm playing, you know, I should know the name of it. We're playing Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And I've read friggin' A lot of the Ari Salvatore novels. <laughs> you think I would remember the friggin' name of that damn lake? I'm, I'm thinking uh, warrior alpaca creatures. Warrior alpaca. Because it's Argentina. Nice. See that? Nice. That's all I'm going to think about now is Argentina. Oh, we oh there's got to be an alpaca. Don't cry right. me. So wait, wait. So we're not Queen just going to make the entire continent all pirates and submarines. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to contend with the Roman Empire that I built over there. Uh, exactly. And once they kick the shit out of the humanoids, they're going after your pirate people again. Oh, man. Rosa, Captain Rosa will stand up to them and tell them to fuck off. Her watery <laughs> nice. grave will be decorated with the blue That's... for men. <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, well, in the, the other the campaign, I mean, that's basically what she's doing. She's telling the big bad nation to fuck off. And no, get stitches <laughs> gets or snitches, snitches get stitches. Get stitches. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, that's too funny. Uh let's see. Um, all right, uh Ian, <laughs> um you let's see. You have uh, discussed your bay. What was the other feature that you had? Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Oh, yeah. The bay. Did you guys yeah. only get two and I somehow got three? Well, I mean, honestly, we talked about uh, we talked about six of my last time. So nine, we talked about calling something like the uh, the Bay of Ghosts with thermal vents. Nice. Um, yeah, so um, when I talked to Spencer, too, he had also talked about the whole marshy, like, at least the low water zone going upward about different... Uh, things that he was going to explore in his region using that um, shallow water zone as uh, a difficult area to navigate with specialty navigators and other kinds of things. So He runs uh, slavery out of that place. <laughs> uh, he's not running slavery. Out of you he is. No, that's not Spencer. Spencer's R. Who, oh, that's right. John. John has you. He's hey, really I'm avoiding any type of super offensive hunt. <laughs> Oh, well, then you need to stay out of the East because I am all offensive over there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Frank, what do you expect? So, okay, uh, so you're saying that there's like a geothermal vents. You're saying uh, that right. this was a, you were saying like Bay of Ghosts or something uh, like that? So if we look at the like region you and we look at S and compared to the rest of the regions, um, you have desert and then you have solid jungle and you have mountainous regions. So the concept we thought was perhaps that there is a lot of tectonic underwater activity happening here. A lot, a lot of thermal things that would explain why you have such a huge transition between these two areas. Uh, I mean, they're not too terribly far separated, you and this other jungle area. Uh, so um, that type of heat and other type of activity is what's causing 
there is this to be more um, arid on one side, tropical on the other, but uh, that underwater activity would cause lots of um, puffs of steam and geysers to erupt. There to be uh, hazes and miasmas across the surface of the water at time, depending on how turbulent it is, and in some areas perhaps literally boiling. Uh, so you would, so someone that was superstitious would think that this was an area that was highly haunted. You having roiling waters, you're having almost things that look like specters coming out of the water. Oh, okay. so a lot of superstition and, and other things. Um, okay. I'm thinking okay. dragon turtle breeding ground. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, maybe they have their eggs on the coast. See, that could be something in your uh, your Y region, David, to explore. Uh, yeah, that's possible because, um, uh, Frank, uh, is there, there like, was this constant, uh, continent formed like, uh, parts of it or whatever with like some kind of calamitous, uh, event? Because we discussed, when I was... yeah, we, we discussed a major event, uh, right? And an with, upheaval, yeah, the upheaval is what we're calling it, and I think we're using that as the zero mark. Uh, current year is 1122 CY common year uh we're also going on our timeline pcy because i am devoid of any originality whatsoever uh (laughs) and i'm also thinking of ian's uh underwater thermal event this area is all water uh indicating very shallow water Mm -hmm. i I think it was high in salinity if i if i remember last time but i'm thinking there's only 50 miles (laughs) right here and if there is a traumatic event Australia number two breaks mm-hmm. off from the landmass. Right, right. Yeah, I mean that. that I mean that could be something to do with like a, a major campaign thing. Because a lot of things have seasons and cycles to keep them fresh and relevant. Right. I'm going to dig the Suez Canal right there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I believe uh, I had 10, which is like the, the water expanse uh, that would be to the right of you and B. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to uh, deem this is uh, the shimmering expanse and all that, because uh, it, except for the, the area like uh, towards the lower part of the map that we have, that's about the, the deep zone there. So mm-hmm. everything else, I was thinking uh, more like in towards the shallow zones and stuff like that, be more like a uh, barrier reef type kind of thing. I'm not sure if that'd work. I really don't know what those hex symbols are, um, like what type of, like, what are those? Yeah, uh, like Marsh and then what's dark, the dark navy here is. Oh no, I'm talking about uh, here southeast. Yeah, of, uh, yeah. Right, what are, right what are there. Those? This is all uh, essentially Africa. It's oh, so like a savanna. This area yeah. is actually uh, the home of the Loxodon people. The oh, okay. People. This area up here is the home of minotaurs that look like water buffalo called oh, that's green and they are master sailors they're all pirates uh the, loxodon the pirates. are the loxodon are uh an enigmatic race uh, because i got both of those <laughs> i got a lot of these folks <laughs> right right I mean, we could have taken more than one country i mean I've got two. <laughs> oh, I thought we were only taking one each. I'm sorry. Oh no, yeah, I've got I've got three. I'm up to my eyeballs in the lore. Oh shoot. Uh, I don't know if I have problems. I don't know if I have time. See, I'm the kind of person that can be spread out too far. So I mean I've got two and that's enough. <laughs> so Yeah, Carol, so. there's a there's an elven uh, contingent north of yours if you want it. Yeah, toss it to me. Tell me just email me what no or what number is it oh e e you know it's funny because i saw the foresty stuff and i thought elves that's where the elves live okay so you got it 
Good, so I can move two of my characters here. <laughs> so you have elves and shithead dwarven Nazi pirates. Well, well no, <laughs> no, no, no. The dwarves are not the pirates. There are pirates. There are even pirates. I think right. Captain, Captain Rose is going to be the pirate queen. Oh, she's going to put Rosa in the in the pack. Damn now. right. Okay. Let's see Come where on, this recycle is going. your characters. C Caesar Frank is going to cross the bay and kill you all. I, I like, I'd like to point out that so far I have no pirates planned for my free territories. So, <laughs> and no Nazis, none. No, none. Mine maybe about, cultists. Mine are about cultists. Nazis. Mine are about freedom. Do you have any strippers? I need to have Ooh. make a. Are you talking about me or Carol? Any of you? I'm gonna make a oh. free haven. Uh, you know what? Maybe the uh, halflings in uh, J are gonna be nudists. <laughs> Peace. Oh man! I can see yeah, well, I guarantee on. it might have being a pirate cop, but there's going to be a brothel. So you know, ah, okay. brothels, bars. <laughs> yeah. Well, since we got the the region up, you took thirteen that mountain range, Carol. Can I was you tell us a little bit about that? Assigned thirteen. You were assigned right. thirteen. Okay. I was assigned all. Hell, this now stuff. you're happy about it because that's where you're. I know because I originally originally I wasn't gonna. I didn't think that was part of my territory, but it's now. So I'm calling them the Apexian Mountains because you know Apex. So it's a, I realize it's not twins? range. What? Apex twins. <laughs> well, there's ah, twin nice. volcanoes. Oh. Yeah, those she doesn't, get, she doesn't get it. But yeah. thank right, you but, to the two live streaming customers out there who acknowledge my EDM joke. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get. It. All right. So, but anyways, I was looking at real. Originally, I was going to call base it off the volcanoes there, but I realized that this mountain range is actually like huge. It goes all the way up to the north. I'm like. All right, well, the volcanoes really aren't a prominent feature of this range. So then I changed it to, you know, Apex. So Apexium. Well, Apex Apex is, is another mean. <laughs> basically, Apex means peak. So there's lots and lots and lots of peaks. So that's where I get But I did actually name the two volcanoes there. Uh, uh, yeah, it. Those have been named. <laughs> they were? Yeah. Oh, I didn't The, the one to the right is Mount Fock. Uh, F O C. Uh, what do you got? What do you got for the other one? Well, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote the west one was Sky Blaze because they're volcanoes, and the other one was Inferno Peak. But it could be Inferno Peak on Mount Fock. No, I, um, I, I like Fock? Inferno Peak. I mean, if you want, so is it, what would that be? The west one then? And get uh, rid of Inferno Sky Peak Blaze? is the will be the east one. Will be the east one. And I said, then I, Sky Blaze, Blaze is the one on the left. Because you know volcanoes and with the if it's you know shooting lava up to the sky, I mean it sort of looks like it sets the sky on fire. So sky blaze. No, I, I I named Mount Fock when I was doing uh, the Carpathians. So no, I'll change uh, that over. I think yeah, since technically this is now my territory. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was actually thinking maybe I'll go in and look and see if I can translate it all like dwarvish, but uh, nah, this is fine. Simple I, names I like, like although Mount Fock would be appropriate for dwarves, actually. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of so many jokes, like one mountain being being named Giva and the other is Fock or something like that. So well, I, I, I think Fock is because uh, uh, <coughs> hill gnomes are mm -hmm. Bulgarian or okay. Romanian. So Fock, F O C, uh, I, I think I got that change and i may still continue to call it mount fock but on the map it'll be inferno peak uh, right well yeah it could be i mean could that could just be the name of the peak and it yep. could be a nickname i mean it doesn't have to be yeah. the actual well two countries you know. will call things differently so. that's true right. that's true i'm trying to remember what fock means in German because it's spelled different. It's F O C H. I'm not. not yeah, I, I have not done any Germans yet because okay. apparently Carol cornered the market. On I'm not. Nazi. They're not German. <laughs> sure. Oh my God. I'm sure, they're no. Italian Nazis. They're American they're not, Nazis. They're not Nazis. Okay. Okay. No. They're not I've not tried. Nazis. No. They're they're yeses. No. They're not. They're not yeses or Nazis. They are. They're all about absolute freedom pirates right. are about freedom 
Nazis aren't really about freedom, and everybody's welcome. So it's not there's there's no races they hate. Mm-hmm. Tabaxi, so any Tabaxi? Yeah, sure. that's what I was going to say, Carol. Remember, Rose's Rose's uh, Rose's booty master is a Tabaxi, so you know. That's what you're saying. Absolutely no, it's it's canon. It is absolutely canon. Oh my god! Gosh. I'm playing with fire with that relationship. <laughs> No, it's absolutely uh, true. folks at home. If you feel burning, please see your doctor. <laughs> God. Uh, Frank, don't you have like seven N1C or something like that? Yeah, that I had a great name for it earlier. Uh, and did you I, lose it? I, I think uh, uh, I think it is called Riftus at this point in time uh, because this expanse was not always present uh i'm assuming that there was a calamity of some kind at heart mountain in the silver mountains here uh that caused this area to sink right below the l is a waterway a very shallow waterway uh similar to uh, if you're walking over the uss arizona you can actually see crap there uh, but there's going to be a bridge uh, this entire landscape is one nation and i have not done any work on it yet because i've been busy with the others uh, i'm thinking azamar uh, or tabaxi one of the two uh, but that one still needs some thought but yeah this is uh either rift ocean or rift sea or riftus uh and there are lava tubes uh and part of the bigger picture on this is uh the humanoids from the silver mountains came down here to what is deemed the emerald coast and it was run by hill dwarves uh the hill dwarves got run out by the humanoids went into a tunnel here and that led them to X, uh, which did not make the wild elves happy that were already indigenous personnel there. But yeah, Riftus is a very shallow. Uh, think of think of it as maybe Lake Superior, is what I'm I'm going for. So uh, huge. It, but yeah, it's huge, but it's not really ocean. Uh, it's going to be fresh water, and this area here and here will be estuaries. Gonna, uh, yeah. That's what I was kind of curious about. Yeah, where the salt water uh, exchanges. So I may switch over some swamp land here, uh, purchasable by any of you QAnon, QAnon folks. You can buy <laughs> anything. Uh, but yes, this whole area, uh, not really Jesus walking on water, but not very deep at all. But I had a great name, and I've got to find my note for it. But something along the lines of a rift. And this schism... Uh, will be part of the lore of l uh not so much j or m but definitely why this island kingdom exists hey and that's my guess that's your guess okay yeah that's a lot of cool things you could do with that many types of uh land Mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah well i i decided there's only going to be one port available on this island uh, maybe uh, Cliffs of Dover kind of thing. This would have been the high ground, so when the water rushed in from the sea, this particular area was the only thing left. So a lot of undersea ruins here, mostly just farmland, but uh, there's an island, or not an island, there's an old city in Italy that got flooded, and during drought season, the city rises out of the waters and that is going to play big into an adventuring opportunity yeah that's that's pretty neat maybe right here off the coast somewhere in the shallows uh but yeah there's there's going to be a former city and if, if you google sunken italian city uh you'll find great pictures i mean they've taken drone footage uh, uh over overland footage and I think as of last year, you could actually go in there. The ruined structures of the buildings are still there. So that is maybe one of the scenarios we'll do in December. Because everybody loves a good haunted city. <laughs> That's well, cool. 
you mentioned the footage so that like drone footage and stuff like that with documentaries now and with like the discovery channel and all that i think i'm i'm gonna be like just pouring over like uh you know just documentaries about what i had in mind for any of my regions and stuff like that so but uh on feature 12 that inland lake uh what is like the the social climate uh between those uh those neighboring uh, countries t p and o and uh t and u are john's u i know is has thrives on a slaver culture okay t is going to i forget what he said um I've got it, but I, I've only got two screens, so I can't really open a lot of shit. Otherwise, sure. it's going to affect it. Uh, but U is the slaver region. This okay. great expanse has two names uh, on the western edge next to U. It's called... Um, Isn't it called Bliss or something? Or? Eternal Bliss is what it's called. Yeah. So this is Eternal Bliss. On this one is a name I cannot pronounce and had to write it down, and it's got, I think, 87 consonants and one vowel. <laughs> uh, it, so it it's means, Polish? It's the Pol No, actually, the Polish folks are... That really is the I, name, I've included, 87 consonants yeah, and I, one I've vowel. I've included the Poles somewhere, but I don't remember. Uh, for you young DMs, uh, especially if you're a history buff, I find that if you loosely base it off something in our own culture it's easier to steal from so cultural appropriation exactly. exactly so that island over to the far right uh those are all vietnamese tortles uh, and they're very anti-social uh the v area is water buffalo and those guys might be the the poles water buffalo minotaurs i think they are the polish uh, so they're going up against the O region, which is, uh, the halfling culture. And I, and okay. I'm going to make them Italians. Exactly. Okay. Not to deface any Italian culture, not calling them hey. thieving, uh, bastardos or anything like that. Just saying Hey, it's what you talking about? <laughs> well, out of curiosity, Frank, what's this ter uh, this terrain type in tea that looks like grass covered with tsetse flies? Uh, the, these are uh, poor grasslands. Poor? Poor okay. grasslands. Okay, because uh, I've got wars. Yeah. Okay. They, they are ruined land. Uh, okay. Think Carthage, only with less salt. Nice. Okay. Okay, so kind of like a wasteland type mm -hmm. area or something Folks, like that? Folks, this map was created with hexographer, not worldographer which is their newest version but hexographer because i prefer it uh and it comes from inkwell ideas they've been on our show before so pitch pitch and shout out to them inkwell ideas you can get it for free and you can also buy a uh, license which allows you to easily do child maps so shout out to inkwell ideas thanks so uh all right. Um, what about uh, the area P on the other side? What, uh, what civilization was that going to be? I can't remember what I, I chose. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it's your uh, nation. It's, it's all right here, though. Okay. Okay. Well, it, yeah. it's, it's my nation by proxy is what it is. Uh, I don't uh, see it in the drive yet. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, P, P is not in the drive. O is not in the drive. N is not I don't think ends in well, there. Well, hey, what if you need to like share the burden because we got the con coming up? You always. Oh, the con okay. dump on you. Win, lose, or draw. <laughs> Win, lose, or draw. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got to respond to emails. So, yeah, no, it's it's fine. Uh, we're, folks, uh, I gave everybody a boilerplate. Uh, so that we could all be kind of on the same page. And then after that, you can add whatever you want, lore, tips, uh, whatever. Uh, but what, I, what if we had uh, we had one region that we just had viewer submissions? <gasps> That'd be cool. Like If the viewers I mean, submit stuff. You know yes, it's going to be penis you, land, that one person right? Think <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I do. There are people that I know that watch this show, so... It'd be really cool. And I know we have nobody a... who watches this show. 
we have, a, we have a Discord which you can put submissions on. I mean, maybe I will make that channel. If you want me to make a channel for this world building thing? You know what? Make I'll your save P for last. Yeah, but you know it's going to be Penisville or Penis Land. <laughs> Let's not. Well, well, not you name it, it will. It's for mature audiences, but not one of us. I mean, if we do go that far, <laughs> a river does flow through it, but I, I'm not. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Good one. Hey, I, I, yeah. Yeah. So bad. Okay. Well, anybody want to discuss their projects that they have uh, in mind for their areas? I I will happily ramble, but I want to take it out uh, the last minutes just because uh, I'm the loudest about it. But I got I got a real quick question. Uh, yeah. Okay. David, you had five. Right. According right. to this list, what did you call that? Uh, five. Oh, did we do that? You know, I I I I blanked on five. Okay. I didn't have an idea for it. Do we so have a name for could... it then? We could name well, we could name it right now. Hmm. I'm trying to look look at the the features and try to think of something that's in our actual world or something like that that could kind of mirror something off of that. But otherwise, I'm blanking because uh, we have the the civilization uh that's connected to carol's 13 well, right here here's an idea if we look yeah. at all, all the territory uh and 13 so if you look at like 13 and i is five able to, can you navigate that easily you have tons of hills and mountains yeah could it be something like like you know i'm thinking like mount the uh, um, national park zion like the narrows or like the shallows where you may have lots of rocky upcropping oh, like a hard for big ships but you could still have this interesting area that's you know small small vessels could travel that I mean just it could be something very treacherous right, and that's why right. you said like that dead mountain that you had carol was supposed to be sent up with like guardian to let sailors know like don't go in that area because you could you know founder you could get your ship yeah. your broken up by why don't I, we call it like uh, uh, Dire Shoals or something? Yeah, Dire Shoals. Oh, Dire Shoals is good. I was going to say tre treacher yeah. or Treachery Narrows. Yeah. I thought yeah. Narrows is a good name for it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah treachery definitely. Narrows. Yeah. yeah and then you, you could either have it be just left natural. If you were big peaks, you could have bridges between them for, you know, I don't know. I guess it just depends who, which person wants to take that, but. Right. I, 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 I don't, you've only got two areas you can get into the country through the swamp and through this cove. Other than that, the peaks are too high to scale. Yeah, no, I okay. was going to say uh, that's kind of off limits for me. Um, it'd have to be C or B or I. Well, I'm thinking um, this is where the uh, Nazi submarine dwarven. There is, is. no Nazis. <laughs> you stop with the freaking Nazis. Just gonna put here. a swastika no. right on those. Why do you? No. No. Wait, I don't no, understand. Let's not lose. Let's not lose sponsors. Let's not lose viewers. No. I don't no. really. I don't really understand why he suddenly puts Nazis as part of it. I mean, because. Because you want bad guys. Nazi. No. Nazis are the ultimate bad guys. Fuck those no, guys. I there's, there's the worst ultimate oh, bad guys. I do not want bad guys. I want good natured pirates. I don't want bad guys. So you want Disney pirates, not Nazi pirates. I want Rosa pirates. Oh, man. I want Rosa. I want that style. It's, it's all about I want Nazi Nazis pirates so we don't feel bad when we kill good, them. Good. Then you can have some Nazi pirates. But that could be in one of your lands. But oh, mine are man. not going to be Folks, Nazi Folks, remember, uh, name uh, P. We hate Nazis. That's what P's going to be. <laughs> the Anti-Fascism League. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. You know, I, I do need to oh, name something freaking... League. Yeah, I mean, I think Dire Shells would be good because I like got that. a I like volcano nice. at, at, at 18, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, just the whole area is treacherous and hard to navigate. Carol, what so. was your idea for that? For which one? Oh, Treachery, um, treachery Narrows? I'm you know what? I'm going to use Treachery Narrows at 7. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, Treachery Narrows to seven and Dire Shoals as five. Dire Shoals is really good. By That's way. a great name. I love that name. Yep, uh, we'll use both of those. Seven. Cool. I do. I will admit, I really do like naming stuff. It is. Yeah. I find it a lot of fun. 
Yeah, this project has been great. I mean, I, I enjoyed it last week watching uh, with you guys on there. And it, I don't know, it's just something about the collaboration process that uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, you know, it's synergistic. It just, you know, it, it's good to collaborate on that. So, we, I mean, you know, yeah. bounce ideas off. It's that brainstorming aspect. Uh, folks, oh, yeah. we've got a yeah. uh, Google Drive that we use. That way, uh, whenever we do things with it, each one of us has folders for our respective nations. That way we can go ahead and crisscross uh, and come up with other ideas. So it's really working out well. This is only our second episode, but it's really working out well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to collaborating and, and hearing some feedback on Z because I have that and I have a couple of ideas that I haven't cited on. I've got a lot of real cool stuff in S and I'm rock solid on, but Z, I've still got lots of Lots of interesting things I still need to figure out. Have you done shit in Q? I've got I've got I've got some notes written down. I've got S like really fleshed out, like to the point where I could start making hex maps. Q, I've got uh, my concepts, um, and I can drill down further into that. Just to you only know, have a couple of minutes, so. Yeah. Now these are. I think these are technically mores. Yeah, they're more because mores are acidic. And you know they're they're semi wasted lands, and that's why I thought about that <laughs> concept about that volcano that had ruptured, sinking a lot of bits of the island, and why there's two mountainous regions with forest, because otherwise that wouldn't make sense to have two little prongs. So that was like a shelf that fell after an volcanic or volcanic exposure. That ash would then explain why you have more lands in the middle. But that was where I had that that ruined civilization. So um, I'm thinking about having more like abandoned cyclopean ruins. Um, to kind of go with the things that are in my folder there. Um, but that is where they, um, they, the previous race that was trying to conquer the regions, like Spencer's R, um, reneged on a deal that they had with a Lovecraftian horror that they had summoned for power. And it, uh, it's like, well, we're just going to blow up your volcano and uh, ruin the whole area and kill out your entire civilization. So Q has no living inhabitants except for a small cabal of uh, strange druids no animals no fauna except for just flora uh, and those uh undead creatures that were uh, surviving well, an island of lycanthropes no i am well, that's Dr. interesting Burrow's island yeah, yeah something yeah. like that cool. that's what i was thinking that's exactly what i was thinking real quick question i know we're running short on time uh, anybody got any barrier peaks ideas or are we going to flush that because I personally always hated barrier peaks. Uh, I, I like oh expedition to the barrier. I don't know. Yeah. Nah. 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 You can always have that be a weird event, but well, I, yeah. I, I figured gith maybe. I mean, you could plane jam and have that be an incursion. Yeah, There's nothing yeah. wrong with that, but you know, once you put laser guns into a campaign, you can't take them out. Yeah, yeah. Once you go down that road, <laughs> maybe that's what the Nazi dwarves are working. Oh on. my God! It's sake. Nazis with lasers. He was trying to find a way to say Nazi right before the curtain call. He was he was gunning for. Oh, fucking man. ass! There are no Nazis in the area. I'm sorry, no, there's no Nazis getting... out there. Then oh, they're yeah. in your lands, not mine. Not for oh. long. They got elves. That, that's Nazis. <laughs> Then oh. that's what that's what Rose's number one goal is to knock out Nazis. Oh jeez. No <laughs> We're gonna be in a landlocked country, so you have to come in nudist <laughs> dwarven Nazis. Well that oh, means man. you won't be coming to us. That means you won't be coming to us either. It's oh. an adventurer's just, paradise. Carte blanche. God. Just go in and destroy. Uh, and there you have it, folks. This is our collaboration <laughs> of Socium. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to, yeah, put the genie back in the bottle for this until next time. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are we doing but, next time, David? Uh, well, uh, next time, I mean, what we have coming up, uh, Frank, this week, we have Calamity coming up Saturday, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is we that correct? Cred. Whoa, 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 we have cred. Stop, don't skip us. Nobody oh, watches come on. cred. Nobody cred. watches uh, cred. No, absolutely. Cred. No, no, cred I'll give Carol her but... due. Her due, yes. Cred. Cred Tune is Thursday. Cred. cred is the real deal. It's the best campaign on this entire channel. Of course Except for is. the other three. Yeah. <laughs> it's a solid four. Where, where can you tune four. in to watch me play an insane character? I mean, come on. 
I've oh got man, two I can't cities. wait for your character to go off the deep end. So I can. I it, you know I was reading now. This is the sand. I was reading the Sandy Peterson rules about this, and it actually it says uh, basically insanity is a more like role playing th uh, things you can really stick your role playing teeth into, and they're not supposed to make your character unplayable. So. I'm never, you know, I get the feeling you never completely go there. Um, oh, we've seen your dice point. rolls. You're we've seen your there. dice roll, Kevin. Oh, I know. That's why I've got two insanities, two points of exhaustion, and a disease. I mean, come on. I've never had a character who's been stacking up the conditions. Oh, gosh. Ever in 30 years of play, and I've never had a character with this much shit going on in this respect. But yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, I think we're finally going to finish the dungeon this week. Okay. I cast, asked, uh, asked, I, I saw our illustrious GM last night on my stream. He popped in and and uh, I said, so when are we ending, when are we going to get out of this dungeon? He's like, probably this week. Okay, like, I'm cool. going to cut you off, Carol, right now because we're going over. So, well, yeah, of course, because you're we, We've it, got so. sponsors we got to thank and stuff like that. We so, do. Yes. So, Calamity Sat Saturday, Margu again yeah. on Sunday. So, thank you, folks, for tuning in to Murder Hubbo. This has been our Between the Rolls edition, our Iron DM project that we have going on all year. Like we said, this is a compendium that yeah. we're going to have coming out toward, um uh, as soon as we finish this entire project but folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube page uh you can follow us on podbean since you met if you missed any of the episodes and you're on the go and uh yeah take a look at our swag you know tiny url slash rpg swag we got some cool stuff there you can check it out uh also we'd like to thank our sponsors tonight pirate dog dice if you want dice that uh that don't roll, roll pretty like, damn good. <laughs> that don't roll like shit, I believe is the actual Oh, come phrase. on. Frank's got some killer dice. He's always killing us with it. So, yeah. I need to get dice. Carrie to make me a set. That would take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> also, thank you, Oddfish Games, uh, the creators of Adventure Sets, and also the Shine System, and the uh the game how to rpg with your cat so i believe that has gotten out and has been sent out now frank i believe all right oh yeah so cool beautiful book love the <laughs> artwork too okay and we got our con folks so yes february 12th and 13th murder hobo con so please come join us like we said buy a badge games are free i mean it's a good time you can't miss out on it so but again folks thanks you for uh thank you for turning uh tuning in tonight to catch us here and uh yeah stay safe stay warm and we love you folks bye